Now going back to emerging technologies, mm. um, I think the trend that we can see uh, a new profession is created, mm. uh, and there is also a possibility about uh, the current profession being combined and become one profession. Mm. Uh, for example, if I can think about uh, accountants, to a certain extent, the work that we are doing, uh, probably you can call yourself a bit of data analyst, yes. right? Uh, so what is your view on this and what are other combinations that, uh, that you foresee? Look, it's a really good question. I think many education institutions are grappling with this as well, but how do you structure courses around that, that demand? Look, I think in terms of technology, there are many people who say that the world of accounting is going to change dramatically, that there will be, you know, in 20 years' time, there will be no more accounting jobs. Yes. And I'm, I'm not as pessimistic. As you picked up in my opening comments, I'm a fairly optimistic person. Um, I'm optimistic because history has proven us to be optimistic, where the accounting profession has evolved. And you know, if we go back a few decades, there was a once very thriving industry producing hard copy legibles. That, no, that doesn't exist anymore. Yes. We've evolved with technology. And I know that that's a, a bit of a, a throwaway line, but the, the role that AI is playing is really intense. But I, I still believe that presents an opportunity. And because why, fundamentally, I, my feeling is, that our role as a professional and supporting professionals is about that human interface. So that artificial intelligence is good, but I think it gets it gets beaten every day of the week by emotional intelligence. And when professionals are engaged by a client, they come to the professional for the emotional intelligence. They say, yes, happy that you got the data. AI will help us get the data much faster, but ultimately they want to sit down and actually go through the data with a person face to face. So I think whilst ever that remains the case, um, we've got a very strong position to hold on to. So I'm very positive about the role of technology. As I said, AI is good, but AI is better. Um, and we've got to encourage our students coming through uh, to understand the human interface and understand their ability to communicate will be one of their strongest assets. So I think AI is going to have a role, and it is, is having a role already in getting information faster but what that's enabling is better conversations. And we've got to, I think we have to adjust the entire system, the way in which we're producing professionals, including accounting education, the way we regulate conduct in our professional work, everything in terms of that changing nature in the role. And you know, if we can help reorient our professional certification programs as PAOs around the emotional intelligence side, it's really important. In one example from our PAO, um, our professional program is a, is a two-stage program. It's, you know, the first stage is really ascertaining the accounting fundamentals as a, and it's a graduate certificate program at the university. The second stage though is a, is a six-unit program culminating in an MBA and the MBA is designed to be a strategic business advice um, certification. So it's about taking the accounting knowledge, linking it with the client engagement and then making sure you can actually add value to the client or the business you're working with. And one of those units actually focuses on dealing with clients, interpersonal relationships. So I think more of that would be helpful in terms of the profession adjusting to that AI, EI paradigm. Yeah, so moving them towards more of the human skills, Correct. emotional intelligence yeah. related skills. Right?